us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question A 15. Question A of 15 leads. Two points A and B have coordinates negative 5 comma negative 3 and negative 1 comma A respectively. Given that the gradient of line AB is 2, find the value of A. Then B given that Y is equal to 4X to the power 3 minus 2X square plus 1 find dy dx. So to answer question A, what you are told is if you have these two points, let us this is A, this is B, then this is negative 5 comma negative 3, then this is negative 1 comma A. This slope, the change in X then change in y. So this relationship, which is change in y over change in x is equal to 2, which is the gradient. So if that's the case, what is the value of a, which is this a, which we don't know. So we shall call this one to be x1, then this will be y1, then this will be x2, then this will be y2. So the gradient m is equal to the change in y, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This m is the 2 we are given here. So now let us start substituting. So I can use this space here, so it will be 2 is equal to what is y2? y2 is a minus what is y1? negative 3 divide by negative 1 which is x2 minus negative 5 like that. So I can get this one to here so that I simplify it. So I'm going to have 2 is equal to a negative minus a, negative 3 is a, a plus. Then we have negative 1 minus a, negative 5 is in a 4, positive 4. So you have to be careful when you're dealing with him, negative. So because of this negative and this negative, this negative and this negative, they multiply, they give us a positive. So this is where you avoid to make mistakes. Similarly here, negative, negative gives us positive. So this is over 1, then we cross multiply. So it will be now 2 times 4 is equal to 1 times 1 times a plus 3. So this is equal to 8 is equal to a plus 3. Then we solve for a, so it will be 8 minus 3 is equal to a. So a is equal to 5. So the answer here is 5. So once you do that, you are good to go. You get the two max. Then we move to B. B, which is asking us to find the differentiation, which is dy dx. So to answer this question, let me move to a new space. So we have y is equal to, we have 4, so we have 4x square minus 2, this is cubic not square, minus 2, x square plus 1. So we take note of that, that's a cubic. Then we need to differentiate, so dy dx. So to answer this question, we use this principle if you have this function, ax to the power n, dy dx is equal to a times 
n then x n minus 1 so this is the differentiation so you multiply the power with the coefficient then to the power you subtract a 1 so it's the same principle so it's going to be coefficient which is 4 multiplied by the power which is 3 then it will be x 3 minus 1 then minus 2 then multiply by the coefficient which is a 2 then we have x 2 minus 1 then plus what this one means this one it means it has x to the power 0 because anything less to the power 0 is a 1 1 times 1 is a 1 so it's the same as now 1 1 multiplied by the power which is 0 then x minus 1 which is 0 minus 1 so we're going to have 4 times 3 is a 12 then x square then minus 2 times 2 is a 4 or negative 2 times 2 which is a negative 4 then we simplify the power here we get a 1 which is 1 here or just x then anything multiplied by 0 here because of a 0 here is a 0 so all these things become 0 hence the differential of a constant is a 0 then simplifying this we get 12x square minus 4 x is, is the answer so once you do this you are good to go then you get these two marks which moves you towards getting a distinction so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question 16